Hi ladies, welcome back to Let's Play. This is card number 31 in the series. As you can see today, it's quite a simple card, but it's just a fun technique to show you that you can use on your scrapbook layouts as well as your cards. All right, let's play. First thing we're going to do is we're going to choose a card. I have chosen my face cards and we're going to get a little bit messy today. So what I would like you to do is go through your stencils and try and find one um, that has a bigger surface. Because we need to add a whole lot of elements onto your card, you don't want to go with something that looks like that because it will be way too tiny, obviously, to add your beads and your glitter. What we plan to do is to layer from big, biggest to smallest all different elements. All right, so go through your stencils. I found this one, it's a Celebrate Michelle stencil, and I like these because it had nice big spaces to work with. So what we're going to do, firstly, is we're going to prepare our card, and for this we're just going to use masking tape. So this is going to be a quick and easy way just to get our card covered, um, and it just gives us a quick, clean surface that we can work on. We can paint on it, and we can do other media effects on it without it um, being affected because remember your card is glossy so you can't really sorry about that um, I'm just going to fold this one back it's fine okay and then you can just neaten up your card a little bit cool and that is your card so now you have a nice flat plain surface to work with all right, what I have done is I have worked with um, black gesso. You can just work with normal black paint as well. It doesn't really matter. And you need to use a sponge. I'm just using one of my blending sponges. This is an old one, so I'm just going to use that. I'm just dabbing it lightly into the paint. You don't need too much paint. Um, and then what you're going to do is working on your card. So you can just find where your pieces are going to go. Hold it down nice and tight, and you are going to blend your circles onto your page. Try and keep a little bit of the king sticking out, so that you can still see that it is a king card. Alrighty, there we go. So now we have got some nice big surfaces that we can work on. And then while your brush is still wet, just lightly go around the outside edge just to highlight and frame your card alrighty so now that we've done that we can put that away and you can go and clean your stencil you are then going to take clear glass you can use dimensional glaze whatever you like and just neatly oh sorry that's stuck um you are going to fill in no, I don't want to come out now just because I've used it. I'm sorry about this. Hold on a second. Um, you can just use a needle or a pin or a hole piercer just to open it up again. I just used it so it was working. There we go. All right. And you are just going to fill these little blocks, well not blocks, circles, or obviously whatever shape you want. You're not going to fill every single one of these, but the more you fill, obviously, the cuter and the busier your card will look. All right, so there's some hexagons. So what I need you to do while you are waiting for this is you are going to go through your stash and you are going to find um, two to three to four different sized colors of beads if you have a look at mine nice and close up i have used a bigger bead i've used a smaller bead then i've gone to a micro bead and i have finished it off with some glitter all right so this is basically is the jar empty or is the jar full so you can keep adding until you get to your finest component all righty so while this is wet I am going to put it into a little container just so that I don't make a total mess on my card. And I'm going to start off 
with a thicker bead. So these are little seed beads. The only ones I had four of was green. So I'm going to go with green again. And I am lightly, just on the edges, you don't have to do the entire circle because you just want to work on the edges, is I'm going to fill the edges of my bigger circles and then the smaller ones with a few of the bigger beads. All right, you can fill it up as much as you like. Don't put too much because we're also going to add two other layers of beads. Oh, I know where that comes from. Um, and just for good luck, I'm just going to add a few more to that one. Alrighty, I'm going to take that off. So now you can see. Now I have got my first layer done. Then I have managed to find a few smaller little seed beads that I had in my stash. So these ones I am now going to take and I'm going to sprinkle these over and above these bigger beads just to fill up these little circles a little bit more. All right, so let's make sure that doesn't get wasted. Here we go. So now we have got our second layer. Then I'm going to finish it off my second last layer these are little micro beads so you can use different colors obviously I just decided to go with similar tones but it really doesn't matter and then I'm what I'm doing is I'm just going to fill in as much as I can of these let's take them off so now you can see the blocks are looking even fuller with the seed beads I mean the micro beads. And then lastly, I didn't have green glitter. So I just decided I'm going to go with silver glitter. And I'm going to randomly sprinkle that over just to fill up all the excess. All right. Then you're going to leave this and put this one side to dry for a little while. And then once it's dry, it will show up a little bit more. It will start looking glossy and pretty. This is really a fun way to use your stencils and all your media that you have lying around. I know we've all got lots of little beads and we've got lots of um, seed beads, micro beads, glitter. It's just a fun texture to add. So you can make a little card out of it and add it to a layout. It looks quite cute. And then all I done was I just wrapped a little bit of black string around and I added an embellishment. I'm just going to wait for this to dry before I do that, but you get the idea. Um, you can obviously now add a word, you can add flowers, you can decorate it however you want to. The technique I wanted to show you was just how to do the um, beads and the circles. Alrighty girls, I hope you've enjoyed that. Please remember, load your um, very own Let's Play cards under the Facebook post Let's Play number 31 on Scrap and Sell across South Africa. Do not post it under this video, but post it under the official um, post. Thank you, girls. I hope you've enjoyed it and have a lovely week. Thank you. Bye.